All right, all right, I'm coming. Hello? What? I... Uh, ah! <laughs> oh, Inspector Beasley. How nice to... What? You're coming to inspect the station? Today? Oh, uh, no, 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 sir, no, no. Everything's just fine. Couldn't be coming at a better time. <laughs> See you later then, sir. Oh, heck. Oh, oh what the... Oh! Stupid. Morning, Harker. Something the matter with the phone? Oh, no, Sarge. Everything's fine, except... Except the inspector's coming to do a spot check on the station. Well, he's not going to be too pleased with you, then, is he? Why? What, what, what have I done? You seem to have lost a button, Harker. What? Oh, no! I had them all a minute ago. Oh. Good night, all. Lost his button. Lost his button. Lost his... Right, men. Uh -huh. um, everyone, we, we've got a bit of a panic on. A picnic? Oh, goody, I love a picnic. <laughs> I don't think he said picnic, Fluffy. Think it was panic. Ah! Panic! Help! Arabella, calm down. I think the inspector meant that we have an urgent case to deal with. Have we? Oh! Oh, yes, 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 we have. A most important case indeed. A, a quite indispensable button has gone missing. And it is up to us to find it. Don't worry, Inspector Hector. You can count on us. Right. I'll take Andy. Arabella, you go with Mike. Let's go and find that button. Oh, I thought I was supposed to say that bit. Uh, Sergeant Stripes? Sergeant Stripes, what about me? Oh, you can uh, go uh, on your own as a special undercover mouse. Cool! Yes! Cool! Special undercover mouse. Right. Oh, <laughs> missing button, eh? Well, I got some chocolate buttons, if that's any help, and uh, pear drops and uh, sherbet lemons Thank and... Thank you, Mr Peppermint. It's a bright, shiny silver button we're looking for. Yoo-hoo! Arabella? Fluffy? Yes, yes Sergeant, Sergeant Stripes. Stripes! I was thinking that we might split up and look in different places rather than together. Oh, yes, we got lots of shiny silver buttons, but they're on our uniforms. Afraid we haven't got any to spare. Not in the library either. Well, let's hope Arabella and Fluffy are having more luck. Maybe we'll find the button here in the park, Mike. <gasps> oh, did you hear that? Maybe the button thief's hiding in there. <laughs> oh, a lovely day. No, nothing in there. What? What? Who turned the lights out? What happened? Someone's blindfolded me! Help! 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 No. Nothing in there. Hello? Hang on. That sounds like Arabella. Help! Help me! Someone! I've been blindfolded and I'm... Arabella! Oh, no! Stop! Help! Oh. 
It wasn't a blindfold at all. <laughs> it was just a silly old paper bag. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, help! We're, we're adrift. Uh, adrift. Uh, I can't swim. Help! Help me! Arabella, come back! I, I, I can't. I, I, I don't know how to. Oh, Fluffy, do something! Help! Oh, no! What shall I do? Get help! Sergeant Stripes will know what to do. I'm going to get help. Don't worry. Don't worry. Have you gone mad? Ah! <laughs> Hang on, Fluffy. I'm in the middle of a very important investigation. What, Sarge? It's Arabella. She's stuck on a barge and she's floating off down the canal. And we've got to do something. Help! Help me! I want to go home. Arabella? Such stripes, thank goodness. Help me. That's why we're here, Arabella. But how? That rope. Sarge, get her to throw that rope over here and then Andy can tow her to the side. Good thinking, Fluffy. I'll go and get Andy. Arabella, throw the rope. Oh. Right, Andy. Oh, thank you, Sarge. Thank you, Andy. And thank you, Fluffy. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose the case of the missing button is one we'll... We'll just have to leave on the files. Yes. Sorry, Inspector. We did our best. Of course you did, lad. But now it is my pleasure to mention the outstanding courage and quick thinking of a certain member of the team, Fluffy Mouse. I've been told of how you were involved in the rescue of Arabella. And for your actions today, it is my privilege to award you this medal. Oh, well done, Fluffy. Oh, thank you. I don't know what to say. Uh, just a minute, Inspector. Where did you find that medal? Well, well right here, in, in the station. Oh, uh, <coughs> Inspector, that's not a medal. It's the missing button! Why, heck, you're right, Stripes. <laughs> the case of the missing button is solved. Don't worry, Fluffy. I'm sure we'll find you another medal. What am I going to do, Sarge? The inspector's going to be here any minute and I've still not found my button. Oh, you think I could make one out of kitchen foil or something? I don't think that'll fool him, Harker. Hang on. What is it, Harker? What is Stripes playing with? <laughs> Look at that! It's my button, Sarge! Well, thank you, Stripes. You've saved the day.
PC Harker speaking. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yes. Oh. Oh, dear. I I'll be right there. Sergeant Parker! What is it? I've got to go out. Can you look after the police station? Mr Draper the painter's got a problem. Goodness. Whatever is it? He's lost his front door key. If the wrong sort of person finds it, he could get into Mr Draper's house. Night-night, gang. <gasps> Lost his key. Lost his key. Lost his... Oh, dear! Oh, stand up, Sergeant Stripes. You know I don't like my officers to slouch. But Inspector There's Hector... no time for buts. There are mysteries to be solved. Mr Draper has lost his key. Poor oh, Mr Draper. I don't know what I'd do if I lost my key. What's a key? It's a, a, um... Attention, gang! You heard the Inspector. There's work to be done. Arabella! You and Mike begin a street-by-street -street search. Andy will come with me to Mr Draper's house to see if there are any clues. Uh, Fluffy, uh, you, um, uh, you stay here and keep an eye out for anything suspicious. If only I could find Mr Draper's key. Sergeant Stripes would be so pleased with me, he would have to take me with him next time. If only I knew what a key looked like. Um, 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 oh, morning, Sergeant Stripes. <laughs> Good morning, Mr Peppermint. You haven't seen a lost key anywhere, have you? Oh, <laughs> afraid not, Sergeant. I, I've been busy painting this new sign all morning. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, ow, ow, oh, 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 oh. Yippee doo! I think I found Mr. Draper's key. Oh, this is not a key. I know what this is. It's a flower. <sighs> Never mind. It's very pretty. I've never seen one of these before. This must be it. I think I've found Mr Draper's lost key. Oh, that's funny. I'm sure I left my hammer here. No. Someone's taking it. I'd better call the police. <laughs> oh. Fluffy Mouse, Fluffy. Oh, that's funny. I'm. I'm sure Fluffy Mouse was outside the police station. Oh, I'd better contact Sergeant Stripes right away. Yeah. I'll get right onto it, Inspector. Another two mysteries to be solved. Someone's stolen Mr Peppermint's hammer. <gasps> That's terrible. And Fluffy Mouse is nowhere to be seen. <gasps> She's been mouse-snapped. Oh, someone might steal me. Yes, Inspector Fluffy. Mm, that sounds good. Detective Inspector Fluffy. That's more like it. Hmm. I want this to be perfect so that Sergeant Stripes and the others know exactly who it was that solved the mystery. Me! <laughs> Oops. 
Right, Inspector Hector. I understand. Thank you. Over and out. Poor Fluffy Mouse. Oh, oh dear. It's okay, Arabella. Inspector Hector says Fluffy is at the police station. <gasps> Not mouse napped. Oh, thank goodness for that. At least that's one mystery solved. Uh, we still have to be on our guard, though. There, there are an awful lot of strange things happening today. This is very serious. Still no sign of Mr. Peppermint's hammer. Or oh, Mr. Draper's lost key. Oh, well. Uh, Sergeant Stripes, you must... You must, um... Uh, you must, uh... Oh. I've got some good news. Mr. Draper hasn't lost his key anymore. He hasn't? Oh, wonderful news, Fluffy. When did he get it back? He didn't. I did. I've never found anything. Ta-da! Oh, well done, Fluffy. It's the missing hammer. Huh? Oh. So, you put the key in the lock and turn it to unlock the door? That's right, Fluffy. Aha! By Jove, I think she's got it. But you said I had to do that to lock the door. No, Fluffy, it's like this. You turn it one way to lock the door and the other way to unlock it. Uh, if you were Mr Draper, where would you leave your key after you'd unlocked the door? Uh, in my coat pocket. That's a good idea. What do you think, Fluffy? Maybe... Suppose the key was never stolen at all. Suppose Mr. Draper forgot where he put the key. Where else might he have put it? Um, the whole table. Hmm, that's not very likely, Arabella. He'd probably have found it by now. Oh, I wish just for once I could solve a mystery. It's not fair. Giraffes obviously aren't very good at detecting. That's not true. Who showed Fluffy how to lock and unlock a door? I don't know. It was you, Arabella! And I can tell you've guessed where Mr Draper's key could be. You have? Come on, gang. Let's go to Mr Draper's house. Aha! Got it! So, you see, sir, Mr Draper left his key in the lock and it wasn't stolen after all. In fact, it wasn't really missing in the first place. Oh, well, that is good news. Well done, Sergeant. Every mystery has been solved today. It wasn't only me, sir. Everyone helped. Oh, well, in that case, um, well done, everyone. What a great day, detecting. Night, gang. The cute cat in the little blue hat. Sergeant Stripes, he's the itty bitty kitty man protecting the city. Sergeant Stripes, meow, meow. Comes Sergeant Stripes, meow, meow. Comes Sergeant Stripes. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, Katie, have you done all your homework? Oh, yes, Dad. Except, well, I'm supposed to do a poem about a dragon for English, and I got a bit stuck. Well, what have you got so far? Er, uh, it was a cold and frosty night, the snow and ice lay all about, and Dave the dragon felt quite cross. But I don't know why he was cross, Dad. Well, um, you know how dragons breathe fire? <gasps> yes, of course! The dragon's cross because his fire's gone out. Hello, Katie. Morning, Harker. Harker, can you get down to the railway station? There's a vintage steam train calling there shortly. We need someone to keep an eye on things. Steam train? Oh, right away, Sarge. Good night, all. Dragon. There's a dragon. A dragon. Right. Listen up, everyone. I don't want to alarm you, but there's a dragon on the loose. A, a dragon? dragon? No, no, it's OK. The dragon's not going to be any trouble at the moment. Its fire's gone out, but we've got to find it before... Hang on, lad. I'm in charge round here. <clears throat> now, there's a dragon on the loose. It's not going to be any trouble at the moment. <laughs> its fire's gone out. But we've got to find it bef before... And... Um, carry on, men. <clears throat> right. First of all, we've got to find that dragon. Uh, then... Uh, Sergeant Stripes, uh, where's it hiding? It'll be skulking around until it can relight its fire. So, what we'll do is this. Fluffy Mouse, Andy and I will go to the fire station and you and Mike can go and find the dragon. Oh! Well, come on, Mike. We've, we've got to go and find the... the, 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 the <clears throat> hang on. What if we find the dragon? Before Sergeant Stripes has got to the f f fire station, we'll be burnt to a crisp and eaten up. Oh, no! I, I don't think we'll look for the... D d d d for it. I think we'll hide! So he won't be burning anything down at the moment, but as soon as he relights his fire... No, 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 no. Sorry, Sergeant Stripes. Me and my men are rather busy at the moment. We can't go out looking for a fire that isn't even there yet. We've got an important practice drill to go through. But... I'll tell you what. There's an old fire engine round the back. There. You can borrow that if you like. Uh, does it go? <laughs> does it go? <laughs> does it go? <laughs> well, I'm not too sure, but it's all I've got to spare. Oh, well, thanks for your help, Chief. Don't mention it. Anything to help. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a fire drill to deal with. Cool! A real fire engine! Isn't it a beauty, Sergeant Stripes? Uh, well... Can I drive it, Sarge? Please? Well... Cos you'll be needed to put the fire out, won't you? So can I? Please? Can I, Sarge? Go on! Please? Oh... Oh... Whee Hang on, Fluffy. Now, how do you start this? Whoa! <laughs> OK, Sarge. Hop aboard. Whoa! Slow down! And stop that bell! Sarge! Stop looking about and get in your seat! Ah! 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 Wow! Fluffy! Turn that bell off! Right. Now, can we look for the dragon? Aye, aye, Sarge! And keep your eye on the road! Please! Fluffy! Whoa! 
What is it, Sarge? There, down by the side of the shop. That sounds like, like a dragon. Oh, eh. Uh, perhaps I'd better stay here in case we need a quick getaway. Gotcha! Ha-ha! <laughs> the dragon! Bella? <laughs> I, I thought you were the dragon. Me? Do I look like a Sarge? Sarge! What? What is it, Fluffy? There! Look! I think it's the dragon! Ah! Crikey, Fluffy! I think it is! And it started its fire again! Right. We're going to have to put the dragon's fire out. So when I give the word, turn the water on. Be, be careful, Sergeant Stripes. Now! Oh, dear. Right, dragon. This is where you get yours. What the... You're no match for me, you... you... you dragon! What's the big <laughs> I'll teach you to terrify the town! I'll... 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 Uh, 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 Arabella! Fluffy Mouse! Could you, uh, turn the water off now? <laughs> You're, uh... You're not a dragon, are you? No! I'm not a dragon! I'm wet! Everything all right, Sergeant Stripes? No! It is not all right! I'm wet through! That lump's put the fire out in me engine! I've got a train full of passengers waiting to get on with their trip, and they're not going to get very far with a steam engine that isn't steaming, are they? Uh, no. Oh, sorry. But I might be able to help. Keep an eye on things while I'm away, eh? All aboard! Well, Stripes, here's a fine how do you do. You get us all het up about a dragon that never was while you go gallivanting about playing at train drivers. But, sir, I didn't. That is, I, I thought... Let's hope tomorrow's a better day, eh? But there was a dragon. I'm sure I heard someone say there was a dragon. Um, an elephant landed in your lunch? No, Dad. Your teacher's legs dropped off. <laughs> Dad, no. My poem, the one about the dragon. I got a gold star for it. Oh, Katie, that's brilliant. <clears throat> it was a cold and frosty night. The snow and ice lay all about, and Dave the dragon felt quite cross. His fire had gone out. Stripes? Well... I wonder what's got into him.
morning, Stripes. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Perhaps it's a fairy path. Or maybe it's a moonbeam left over from last night. Ah. Oh. Katie, wh what are you up to? Look, Dad, I found a slug. His name's Stanley. <laughs> Stanley? Yes. Well, that's what I'm going to call him anyway. Isn't he sweet? Ah! It's a slug! A slug! He's called Stanley. It must have squeezed in underneath the door in the night. I don't care how they do it. Just get it out. Get it out! Ah. Good night, all. Slug. Got in through a closed door. Slippery. Slimy. Sergeant Stripes reporting for duty, sir. And, sir? Inspector Hector, sir? Uh, sir? Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, what, what, what is it, Sergeant Stripes? There's a dangerous criminal slug at large, sir. He can get in anywhere he chooses. Don't ask me how he does it, sir, but he seems to just squeak. Oh, look at that. That's not important right now, sir. I... Not important? Not important, Stripes. Oh, a policeman's uniform must at all times be kept in the best possible condition. And this is... But, Inspector Hector, like I said, Stanley the Slug could strike at any minute. Um... Oh, uh, uh, yes, uh, Stripes, so you said. Well, um, uh, get off and deal with it, there's a good lad. Yes, sir. Come on, team. Let's go. Hang on, Fluffy Mouse. Where do you think you're off to? Uh, I I'm going to help the Sarge catch this slug, sir. Well, and who's going to help me with my sleeve? The man in the moon? Oh, but Inspector... Oh! Now, I want you all to know that this mission may be dangerous. And what we have to do is outthink our target. If you were a criminal slug, where's the first place you'd strike? No, Mike. Not the bike shop. The bank. You mark my words, he'll be looking at a big bank job. So that's where Andy and I'll start. In the meantime, Arabella, I want you and Mike to patrol the streets and keep your eyes peeled. OK? Uh, OK, Sarge. Come on, Andy. Not now. Oh, well. Come on, then, Mike. Let's get on with it. A slug, you say? That's right, Mr Pearson. A particularly dangerous slug. Name of Stanley. He'll stop at nothing, from what I hear. And nothing can stop him, either. No door can keep him out. No... Salt. Sorry? For a moment there, I thought you said salt. I did. Salt. It's the one thing slugs can't stand. So, if we were to lay some salt down behind the door, Stanley the slug wouldn't give your bank a second look? That's about the size of it, Sergeant. Then there's not a moment to lose! Well, Mike, no sign of the slug so far. What was that? There, in the bushes. What is it? M my... It, 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 it could be the... the slug. It, it, it's the slug. Help! Help! Oh, now there's something you don't see every day. A giraffe on a bicycle. Is it? Is he coming? Is he? <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, what happened? What? Mike, your wheel. It's all bent. 
we better get that fixed and quickly. Oh dear, no, I, I'm sorry, Sergeant Stripes. Well, that's all I've got, I'm afraid. Hmm, don't think this is going to pose much of a problem to a dangerous criminal slug. Oh, well, why don't you go to the cash and carry? They'll have lots of salt there. Good thinking, Mr Peppermint. Hello? Anybody there? Hello? I've got a bent wheel. Well, n not me, obviously. I, I haven't got wheels. It's Mike. Hello? I'm, s I'm, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I have to get back to the station! Mike! Stay here! The mechanic will come and sort, sort you out! Help! Oh, boy! There! That ought to keep him out of here, Mr Pearson. If this slug of yours really exists, Sergeant. If he exists, Mr Pearson, are you prepared to take that? Help! Help! Oh, oh it's horrible and... Help! Help! Oh! Ow! Oh! Inspector Hector! Oh, he's in the station! Oh, it's Stanley the Slug and he's come to get us! Andy, you know your siren? Now might be a good time! To the station! Oh, wait! Wait for me! The game's up! We have you surrounded! Come out with your hands in... Hmm. Slugs don't have hands, do they? Come out with your feelers in the air! And no funny business... Fluffy? Are you all right? No! How am I supposed to sew the inspector's rotten sleeve back on if he won't keep still? And Arabella's filthy and... Yes, but what... I mean, where's Stanley the Slug? <sighs> there. There he is. Do your duty, Sergeant. Uh, oh. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Afraid I've made a bit of a mess. And uh, I got wrapped up in the tarpaulin and I couldn't get out and there was all this oil and... And it's going to take someone quite a while to get it all cleaned up, isn't it, Stripes? Oh, yes, sir, Inspector Hector. <sighs> Bye, Stanley. I'll come back with something nice for you to... <coughs> Stanley? Katie, what's, what's happening? I don't think Sergeant Parker will be too pleased to see you back again. Perhaps you'd be better sticking to just the one pet, eh? <laughs> I suppose so, Dad. Oh, poor Stripes. Did Stanley frighten you? Perhaps he wasn't such a good idea after all.
hi, Stripes. Meow. Look at what Mrs Draper has handed in. Don't be like that, Stripes. He's only trying to be friendly. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> Can we keep him, Dad? Can we please? I'm sorry, Katie. He won't be here long. He's got a name tag with his address on it. He lives in a circus. His name's Paolo. He's a runaway. Apparently he does it all the time. Wow! Fancy living in a circus. How exciting. <laughs> I don't think Stripes is too impressed, Katie. <sighs> Night gang. <sighs> Monkey. Spider monkey. Oh, stop it. Spider. So, in addition to Mrs. Draper's best clock going missing from her mantelpiece, she found this here spider monkey in her living room. I've made a few inquiries and apparently his name is Paolo and he's escaped from a circus. <laughs> I've been in contact with Paolo's owner and he'll be collecting him later this afternoon. So, the duties for today are uh, uh, to find Mrs. Draper's stolen clock, arrest the offender, and to return Paolo to the circus. Now, I want you to look after Paolo until his owner arrives, but, Sergeant. But, but, sir! Take good care of that monkey. Whoa. Oh, dear. OK, gang. Paolo and I will go to Mrs. Draper's house to see if there are any clues. The inspector has told me to look after Paolo, so I'm not letting him out of my sight. You can stay here to wait for Paolo's owner to arrive. He shouldn't be long. Did you see that? Yes, I did. That is a very rude monkey. Hmm. Not many clues here. Do you think you'll find it, Sergeant? It has great sentimental value. Never fear, Mrs. Draper. Sergeant Stripes is on the case. By the way, you'd better close that window until we apprehend the burglar. You can't be too careful in cases like this. Police officers have to keep their wits about them at all times, Paolo. I think we should do some house-to-house -house inquiries to see if anyone has seen anything suspicious. Well, come on, Paolo. Paolo? Where on earth has that monkey gone? Ha-ha, <laughs> 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 oh, there you are, Paolo. Where have you been? <laughs> well, just don't run off again. The inspector will go crazy if you get lost. Good morning, Sergeant Stripes. Come for your chocolate mouse, have you? Ahem. <clears throat> um, not today, Mrs. Peppermint. I'm investigating the theft of Mrs. Draper's clock. Have you seen anything suspicious? Oh, dear. No, sorry. Who's your little friend? His name is Paolo. He's escaped from a circus. I'm looking after him until his owner collects him. Oh, how cute. Oh, dear. Mind if I take a look around? Hmm, nothing to see here. Thank you, Mrs. Peppermint. And remember, if you see anything suspicious at all, give me a call. S Sergeant Stripes, there's been yet another crime. The inspector wants to see you straight away. Another crime? Well, that's terrible. I'll be right there. Not only has someone stolen Mrs. Draper's clock, but the villain's gone back and stolen a candlestick. Huh? But, but, 
I, I only left there a few minutes ago. Well, the cheeky scoundrel must have taken it just after you left. I think we may be dealing with a team of professional criminals here. P -p professional crim cr criminals? Oh dear, this is this is worse than I thought. Poor Mrs. Draper. She must be really upset. Oh. <laughs> help! Help! Oh, there's been a burglary. What burglary? Someone has stolen my watch right off of my wrist as well. Oh, no! When did that happen? It must have been just after you left, Sergeant. I know it was there when you came in because I just looked at it. It appears that the thieves are following you around, Sergeant. I don't believe it. I didn't see anything suspicious at all. Did you, Paolo? What are we going to do, Sergeant Stripes? I suppose we should start by looking for clues. But these criminals seem to be so professional, I don't think that there'll be any. Yeah, I hope you solve these cases, Sergeant. It, it looks very bad for you. Two crimes committed right under your nose. Wonder. Right, Mrs. Peppermint. Show me exactly what you were doing when your watch was stolen. That's strange. I'm sure I put my pencil in here. Uh, is that your pencil, Sergeant? What the? Yes! Yes, it is! <coughs> Stop! Don't believe it. It wasn't a gang of thieves. It was Paolo all the time. How are we going to get everything back? I mean, none of us are very good climbers, and that tree looks awfully high. Hold on. I think I've got an idea. Oh, Paolo, don't be silly. Come down. <laughs> Paolo, you naughty boy. That must be Paolo's owner from the circus. Well, at least we've recovered all of the stolen goods. Well, thank you for looking after Paolo. I'm sorry he took all those things. He, he was only playing. It's, it's a trick he does with the clowns in the circus. Well, as, as long as you make sure it doesn't happen again, eh? I'm going to keep a very close eye on him. Then you're free to go. <sighs> all in all, a um, uh, good day's work, Sergeant. Well done. Oh, thank you, sir. Bye, Paolo. Be good. Bye, Paolo. Come back any time. Oh, Miss Paolo. Won't you, Dad? Well, I suppose I will. But he's back where he belongs, at the circus. By the way, do you see my hat?
Fancy a cup of cocoa, Katie? Yes, please, Dad. Can I have a chocolate biscuit too? <laughs> Good idea. Oh, bad news, Katie. We're clean out of chocolate biscuits. Run out of chocolate biscuits? Yep. But, Dad, cocoa doesn't taste the same without a chocolate biscuit. <laughs> You're quite right, Katie. Tell you what, I'll pop down to the shops on my bike. See you in a minute. Bye. Katie? Katie? My bike's gone. <gasps> But I saw it outside earlier. Well, it's not there now. But, 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 but... Well, I've got to find it. Wait, Dad. I'll come and help you. Listen up, everyone. There's a charity bike run in the park this afternoon. Hang on, lad. I've got something to say about that there charity bike run. <clears throat> I myself shall be at the bike run, handing out the prizes, no less. I know all about the prizes, Inspector Hector. The first one is a huge box of chocolates. Mike the bike and I have been training hard for the bike run. <laughs> I want the chocolates. <laughs> Arabella, um, I need Mike the bike this afternoon. Why? Why? Well, an officer in my position has got to arrive in style. I want my own transport and a police escort. Well, let's be having you then, Mike the bike. I'll follow with Andy and Fluffy, Inspector Hector. Jolly good. Can't I come too? No, Arabella. You can't go dashing off to the park. You need to store up your energy for the bike race. B -b 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 but I'll be back with Mike the bike as soon as I can. Oh, thank you, Sergeant Stripes. Look after the station while I'm gone, Arabella. Sergeant, a police escort goes in front of the important person, not behind. Oh, oh please don't be long, Sergeant Stripes. This wasn't quite what I had in mind. Uh, oh, made it. Uh, oh. I've been keeping an eye on the prizes, Inspector. Excellent, Mr. Draper. I'll take over now. Right, let's see. A bicycle lamp, bicycle bell, very useful. <laughs> woolly scarf, woolly hat. Oh, and chocolates! Oh, delicious! <laughs> Wait for me, Mike! Way! Whoa, 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 whoa! Too fast. What happened, Mike? Oh, your front wheel. Come on, Mike. We've got to catch that wheel. Oh, I'll never win that box of chocolates. I'd know that wheel anywhere. <gasps> it's Mike the Bikes. But, uh, 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 where's 
Mike. <gasps> I've got to find him. Oh. 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 I saw the wheel roll down Copper Lane. Oh. I'm going as fast as I can, Mike. That's Mike the bike. Mike! Oh, Mike! Oh, you! Excuse me, Sergeant Stripes. I must fix Mike's wheel back on. Congratulations, Sergeant Stripes. You've made a giraffe and a bicycle very, very happy. <laughs> oh, Sergeant Stripes, the bicycle race is about to start. Where are our Rebella and Mike the bike? They went that away. So, <clears throat> it is with great honour that I start. Yes! Not yet, Mr. Draper. I've a few more things to say. <clears throat> Stop! We haven't even started yet. <sighs> Made it! <clears throat> and so, without further ado... Wait for me! You can't enter the race if you haven't got a bike, Sergeant Stripes. I'm not racing. I'm watching. Good luck, Arabella. On your marks, get set. Um, go, uh, go. Go on, go on. Have one without you, Sergeant Stripes. Would you like a chocolate? Thank you, Arabella. All in the line of duty. Oh, hello, Stripes. Everywhere for Dad's bike, but we couldn't find it, Stripes. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do without it, Katie. I, I can't do my job properly. Mike, 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 Dad's bike. I hope you don't mind, PC Harker. I borrowed your bike to go to the shops. We'd run out of chocolate biscuits. Cocoa just doesn't taste the same without chocolate biscuits, don't you think?
the slimy tentacles of the alien slime monster from Space Sector 7. <laughs> Save me! <laughs> there is no escape, Earthling. The grip of slime is about to engulf you. <laughs> Ah, the slime monster at... 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 Ah, uh, 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 good morning, Sergeant Parker. Uh, um, uh, playing with Katie, a, a, a game, um... Yes, and making a bit of a mess, too. Oh, oh dear. Yes, um, <laughs> sorry, Sarge. Well, just get it cleared up before anyone comes in. Um, yes, Sarge. Sorry, Sarge. I think we'd better make a proper job of it. How about tidying out the old broom cupboard, Katie? OK, Dad. Oh, come on, Stripes. How can I clean the desk with you sprawled all over it? Sergeant Stripes reporting for duty, Inspe Inspector Hector? Inspector Hector? Are you there? Arabella? Fluffy? Funny. There's no one here. I wonder where they are. Hmm. Nope. They're not out there either. Perhaps a really big job's come up and they've gone off without me. <gasps> or what if something's happened to them? Maybe they've been kidnapped and... Uh, uh, I'll have to track them down. Look for clues and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Ouch! And it looks like someone's moved the door as well. Hmm. And it doesn't look like there are any clues either. But I'll find them. I'm not called Sergeant Strikes, but... Oh, uh, Mr Pearson. Didn't see you there. No, so I noticed. Mr Pearson, you all right? No, I'm not all right. It's... Daylight robbery, that's what it is. <gasps> robbery? At the bank? Crikey! The bank robbery's more important than a few missing policemen. I'm on the case, Mr Pearson. No, not the... Sergeant! I, I meant... No! You see, I... Oh! Right, keep calm, everyone. I'll handle this. This is the police. There's no escape. Don't panic. This is the police. I know you're in here. Give yourselves up now while you've got the chance. You'll only make things worse for yourself by... Sergeant Stripes. There is no bank robbery. But... but... you said... Yes, I took my car to be mended. And the price they wanted me to pay was, well, daylight robbery. We policemen don't like people wasting our time, Mr Pearson. Now, if you'll excuse me, I was on a very important case. Oh, I'd have probably found Inspector Hector and the others by now if it hadn't been for... Morning, Sergeant Stripes. A morning, Mrs Peppermint. And where are you off to in such a hurry? It's Mr. Peppermint. He's had an accident and I'm... An accident? Don't worry, Mrs. Peppermint. Help is at hand. But, Sergeant, he's not... I mean, it isn't... Oh, dear. Mr. Pearson! 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 Mr
Mr. Peppermint! No, no Mr. Peppermint! Oh. Don't try to move! Now, what happened? Where does it hurt? Doesn't hurt anywhere. What? Hang on, Mr. Peppermint. Better have a look at you. Yeah, but, 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 oh, oh. Don't worry, Mr. Peppermint. I'm trained in first aid. Oh. No obvious signs of injury. Oh, no, there wouldn't be. I'm fine, thank you, Sergeant. But Mrs. Peppermint said you'd had an accident. I had. I dropped a jar of mint humbugs on the floor and some of them rolled under the counter. So, I pop round to my sister's to borrow a coat hanger to hoink them out. There seem to be a lot of people around wasting police time today. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he saw those tarts and stole them clean away. Stole some tarts, eh? And when did this crime take place? Well, I'm not too sure. I see. And do you know where the thief is? Uh, well, you can probably find him in the library. Right. Don't worry. All right, chummy. This game's up. This is the police. Right. Nobody move. I am about to make an arrest. It's no good. You can't hide from the long arm of the law. Got you! Yeah! Ow! Is this what you're looking for? No, that's a book. A book of nursery rhymes. Ah. Uh, hello there, Sergeant. Mr. Draper, if you're going to tell me about any robberies, accidents, knaves of hearts or anything like that, I don't want to hear about it. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I didn't. I, I... I'm on a very important mission. To find Inspector Hector and Arabella and Fluffy. They've gone missing from the police station. No, they haven't. Eh? Who haven't what? Inspector Hector and the rest, they haven't gone missing. I, I saw them there just a few minutes ago. What? Oh, thanks, Mr. Draper. You're here! Yes, which is more than can be said for you, Stripes. Where were you? Where were we? Uh, where were we? We got called out on an important cleaning assignment. Oh, aye, that's it. Yes, slight explosion at the municipal dump. Needed people to do a bit of clearing up. B but that's beside the point, Strax. The point is, you should have been here ages ago. Why? What happened? I... Nothing! Just don't let it happen again, Stripes. No, sir. I... Uh... No. There. As clean and tidy as you like. Yes, except I had to put all these old toys back in the broom cupboard. There wasn't really anywhere else for them to go. Oh dear, Stripes doesn't look in a very good mood, does he? Oh no. <laughs> Poor Stripes. I don't think he likes things being tidied up.